Hey guys, what's up? It's Malkia McQueen. Welcome to my channel. If you're returning, thank you. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. But today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I went from quarantine and crusty to sleek and cute. In today's Slick Down TWA tutorial on 4C type hair. So starting off, I'm just showing you how dry my hair is. And I do have these cowlicks in the front of my hair like at my temple and I have a couple of um, trouble spots like in the middle of my crown area where you can see my scalp a little bit. Um, so we're gonna be moisturizing that and trying to revive that back. So I'm gonna be doing a deep condition with the scalp revival and stimulating hair mask. I just put that on and I'm gonna let that sit in my hair on freshly washed hair. I'm gonna let that sit for 15 minutes. Now I just did this little turban t-shirt that's actually a t-shirt um to suck up the water and now you can see it's nice and moisturized and it feels softer it feels really good but i'm just gonna go in and pick it out and make sure i get every area mainly in the back so i'm gonna go in with the jamaican um castor oil black castor oil it's in mango and lime and i'm gonna rub this all over my hair but also make sure that i dig deep with my fingertips to penetrate my scalp and make sure i get those trouble spots because we want to simulate and get some hair growth going in there After I do that, I'm gonna go in with the Coil Activator Honey and Avocado Curling Cream, and this is by Miracle 9 Touch of Nature. I'm just gonna evenly distribute that as well and make sure I massage that in to get it all throughout my hair so it's nice and soft before I slick it down. Now, I was struggling here, but I'm going to attempt to do a part. I'm going to go in with my rat tail comb and part my hair. And I was trying to use one hand and hold the mirror with the other hand. And you see, I had to put on my glasses because y'all, I could not see. But I just started to use the viewfinder and try to part it that way. So I'm going to try to define my um, part a little bit. I'm going to go through and comb out the sides to just kind of direct the hair. So when I go in with the gel, it'll just evenly lay down. I'm going to make sure that I comb the sides of my part and mainly the back because like I said, I have those trouble areas and it's a little bit sparse in the back. So I want to make sure that's covered up and I'm going to comb through. So now I'm going to go in with my lot of body. Um, this is foam wrap mousse and this is just to hold it down. Now y'all, I was all out of focus in this video, but we good. Now we're going to evenly distribute this all throughout the hair. And I mainly use this when I had a relaxer in my hair it was short to lay it down, like basically to wrap it. Um, but I don't know if it does any difference with my natural hair. Well, not as long, I don't know, but when it was shorter, it did help it lay down. But yeah, this is, I don't know if it's just me, but I just use this to try to just get it to lay a little bit flatter so I don't have any flyaways or anything. Now I'm going to go in with the Miss Jessie's, um, soft curls, the Jelly Soft Curls. We're gonna evenly distribute this. I'm gonna go on either side of the parts. Now, like I said, when my hair was shorter, this alone would help it lay down, but my hair is growing and it ain't really holding no more. It'll smooth the top, but baby, it's not working. I'm just gonna go in with my comb and just evenly distribute that through my hair, comb it through to make sure that it's not just sitting on top. I wanna get it all throughout my hair. And especially in the trouble areas that don't want to lay down, which are like my edges and around my ears. Um, now I'm going to go in with the brush and smooth that out. But yeah, like I said, I want to make sure I lay down the edges um, by my ears, like my sideburn area in the back. And as you can see, it's not all the way laid down as smooth as I would like it because since it's growing, it's just wild at the moment. So I will go in and um, smooth that out even more. Oh, 
and this is a hard bristle brush but as you can see here I went in with my eco styler gel and I just smoothed that through and you can see it's laying better like it's holding it down um, mixed with the Miss Jessie's but the eco styler holds it really good but the Miss Jessie's is really nice and it smells like fresh linens so just make sure you get that trouble spot like I said on those sideburns lay that back now I'm gonna go in with some wrap strips. Now this was like my holy grail with my relaxed style when I had the short little knee long cut, but this lays down natural hair too. So I'm gonna go in and make sure I tightly put this um, around my edges. Now for the first strip, you see me pull it to the front, but I'm just gonna hold it there. And I'm doing this by myself, y'all, it's kinda hard, but I'm gonna hold it there and bring another strip on top of that. So the first strip, we're just laying flat. So the second strip, we're gonna lay it on top and tie a knot in the front. So we're gonna bring it around the front, cross it in the back, don't tie it in the back, just cross it and pull it as tight as you can. And these are pretty like heavy duty, like they don't snap easily. I mean, if you pull it too hard, but they, they're pretty good. So if you just tie it in the front, and I do that because if I just tie the initial, um, strip on top like underneath this one if i just tie the initial one like that it will leave an indent in my head and i don't like that so i'm just gonna feel and place this in the middle of my head and i'm gonna try to hold this now this is where it got a little difficult y'all i'm gonna try to hold this and with this second strip i'm gonna place that on top of the middle like i'm I'm placing it on the hair in the back that's that's exposed but I'm placing it on top of the middle strip to hold it down because I really don't have anywhere to tie that strip so this is just gonna hold it down I'm gonna pull that tight and tie it so we're just gonna tie it in the front and make sure we get that as tight as possible to lay these hairs down. And then the strip that's underneath in the middle, we're just gonna pull that down. So now it's nice and secure. So now I'm feeling to see if I missed any spots and we're gonna hit this top in the front right here. Now where I messed up was, I should have put this one on with the middle one and then tied the strip around both of them. I didn't do that. So this one kept slipping off of my head, but it's going to stay for a second, but when I stood up, y'all kept popping off. But yeah, you want to put those two middle strips down first and just hold them in place and then tie the strip on top to hold them both like so they can be nice and secure and it can hold all of your hair down. Cut off the excess, excess paper and I'm going to let this dry while I do my makeup. I'm just feeling to see if it's dry which it was not in the back because it only took me about 45 minutes I would say that I let it dry and it wasn't dry but for the sake of the video I'm going to take it off for you guys I usually let it dry overnight and I do put a silky on or a durag whatever this thing I put that on and I usually let it dry overnight but I had somewhere to go and for the sake of the video I just wanted to take it off and show you guys so the last strip I'm going to take off but when you get to the front you want to smoothly and easily remove this because if it's still wet, the hair will stick to the paper and it will be sticking up and popping everywhere. So just take your time with it. So I'm going to go back in with some more of that Jamaican black castor oil and put it on top and make sure that everything's just sleek and it looks nice and it's nicely moisturized and make sure you get it on the front because put it on my makeup, it makes it look ashy around my edges. I'm going to go back in with my Eco Styler Gel. Now y'all, I attempted strong emphasis on attempted to do my edges because it was still wet it was not cooperating i was trying to use one hand i was trying to use the viewfinder without my glasses on yeah it was a mess but i i attempted to do my edges for this video they don't look good y'all ain't gotta let me know in the comments i know um this just you know my my slick downs usually don't look bad like this I don't know what's going on in this video but it was just everywhere and that is just product mixed with makeup and it was just a mess y'all was everywhere but I'm gonna do the best that I can and sleek this down so I'm just gonna go back in with that initial paper that I used for my edges and hold down these edges again since they are still wet and I do want to make sure my edges set so I'm just gonna tie that on and let it sit for a minute I probably let it sit for about five to ten minutes which is not long at all but I tried y'all I was trying 
so this is my end result of my slick down um it was cute it wasn't terrible but i'm just gonna go in and add a little accessory this little headband my babies actually bought this for me for my birthday and at that moment i didn't have any hair so i didn't know what i was gonna do with it but it actually came in handy because i thought it was pretty cute on this hairstyle now i'm not really a headband person i usually wear turbans but this was cute and it jazzed it up because like i said y'all this was not my best slick down but we gonna make it work for the video and this is the back as you can see it was not dry you can see it's curling up but that's what the headband's for to cover up all our imperfections we gonna make the best out of it but this is what it looks like you can see the waves um yeah it's not terrible it's it's straight but this is our end result thank you guys so much if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe but thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video you guys bye Thank you.